In this video, we're going to examine how to access our plastic part design tools inside of Autodesk Inventor. Now, we're here with Inventor 2015. We don't really see our 3D model tab, anything that resembles a plastic part type of command. So essentially, we have to turn this on. This is done because not everybody uses plastic part tools. If you're a machinery designer and the only thing you do is make prismatic parts, plates, and blocks all day, you're probably not going to deal too much with nice smooth curvatures or plastic type design methodologies. So the commands have basically been turned off from the default interface. In order to get them back on, we go to the end of our ribbon tab down here at the end with this little pull down arrow. We choose that pull down and then we select plastic part. This turns on a new ribbon panel for us. So we have a command called grill, boss, rest, snap fit, rule fill it, and lip. So these are considered our plastic part commands. They're really introduced primarily for that mindset of that type of designer. Now there's other commands that you would technically also include as a plastic designer as something that would be a bread and butter kind of utility, such as the shell command. People who use plastic design use the shell command an awful lot. Also, the rib command, which is over here on our sweep flyout. So those are other commands that you still want to consider utilizing on a daily basis if you are in plastic design. Now, the other thing to consider about plastic design is that the order of how you do things is very important. So do you put your fillets on first or second? Do you do your shells at the beginning or the end? The order of operations that you go through in building design and developing that design can be very cumbersome sometimes in order to get it right. But that comes with experience. The better you get at plastic design, the better you get at understanding what should come first and second. If you are using a third party program or another Autodesk program for your plastic design work, that's fine. You can still bring that into the inventor tooling environment and create cores and cavities that we're going to see in this course. All that's perfectly fine. So, for instance, if you're trying to bring in an alias wire file, you can do that. So, you just basically do an import, bring in the alias wire format file, and that will have a direct link to the alias product. So that as you update the alias design inside of Autodesk Alias, it can update inside of Inventor and therefore update your cores and cavities and your tooling and so on and so forth. However, you can still natively create things here too with plastic part design tools as well as the freeform tools as well. These were added inside of Inventor 2015 and these give you even more power to create really fantastic shapes using the T-splines technology that Autodesk has picked up in order to better facilitate more swoopy type shapes. So this has been a look at the different types of tool sets we could utilize for plastic part design, as well as how to turn on some of those commands.